All right. So, oh, shit. Uh, um, quick little update for the last, uh, I, I guess, like the big news story we did last week. Um, Sony has officially confirmed that they are indeed shuttering services for the PS3, PSP, and Vita digital storefronts. The silver lining being that users are able to re-download content that they already yeah. own. So I think a, um, some of our concerns are kind of wiped away with that, that you yeah. are going to be able to re-download yeah. your stuff. But a lot of our other points still kind of stand for just general um, services being shut down, as well as the fact that if you don't manage to buy these games yeah. in time, if you're some kid born down the line who wants to go easy access to PS1 games, you're still shit out of luck. Yeah. It's not so, quite the um, Library sorry. of Alexandria situation that we initially thought it was going to be, but it is still pretty bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. and from from what I understand, like I know in the E, uh, at least, there are games that have either been delisted or yeah. other things. Um, there was a post going on. I know that some of them, because like, uh, Jose, remember we were talking about, like, well, you were like, why can't I play Crash on my Vita? And I was like, why can't I play this game and that game on the Vita? It's because they've been delisted both from the Vita storefront and, like, the ability, certain ones, the ability to actually, like, manually put it <clears> on the <throat> system from your PS3. So you can only play them on the PS3. Mm -hmm. I don't know when that happened, but it was, I guess, a little bit before, like, well, like, earlier this year, I guess. I want to say specifically for Crash and Spyro, because I that was like one of the first things I tried downloading on the Vita when yeah. I got it in like 2013, I want to say. And mm. just like, th th I know for those games specifically, they were just never playable on the Vita. Yeah, they were right. on PSP, they were on PS3. Maybe some kind of weird licensing issue or something Maybe. with Activision, I have no mm. idea. But, uh, um... I, th I think it was uh, Darkwing Dad over in the SDGC Discord. They had mentioned, like, well, I guess I got to go um, go hurry up and buy the rest of the stuff I want before this thing happens. Yeah, and um, was it June or July? I think it was July. I'd have July to is the it. PS3 and PSP stores, and then August mm -hmm. 27th is the Vita storefront. Okay. I don't know if that <laughs> also means that, like, PSP classics available and PS1 classics available on the Vita storefront are already going to be gone or not. I'm gonna. I would assume yes, just because I, like I don't expect Sony to fucking be like gracious about this shit. I don't think so because um th there was a a little side tidbit that said like if you buy PS4 games or PS5 games that have cross buy enabled, mm -hmm. um like there's a Vita version for it. If you buy, you can like you can still buy like the PS4 version like let's say like five years from now, and you will still technically own the Vita version, so you can download that like mm -hmm. five years from now. So I don't imagine Except that that would be an issue. Or whatever. Yeah. But um, I, I don't yeah. think there's many PS3 games I missed. Like, maybe I'll, I'll try to get the uh, Siren Blood Curse games. Yeah, but I think I, pretty good. I think I'm mostly going to go, like, on a PS1 buying spree. Like, get the yeah. classic Resident Evils I don't have. Get Dino yeah. Crisis, uh, Parasite Eve, stuff like that. Yeah, and I mean, f for for people that don't have them already, there's so many games that are like locked to PS3 and Vita that like, mm -hmm. it, once the store goes down, you're not gonna be able to get it anymore. You're not gonna be able to get any version of Persona 3 anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I... Direct Guard 3, all those DLCs you won't be able to get. Uh, the Japanese language pack that I think fixes that game oh. and makes it a bit more bearable. You won't be able to get anymore. Fuck, I have to buy the DLCs for Dragon Guard 3. Yep, so do I. It sucks. Uh, I mean, what. hell, lots of PS1 games that are on there. Mm -hmm. If you each had a Demon baby Souls, pick... Souls, you have to track down a physical copy of that. I brought this up last week, but Sylvia wasn't here, so I'm just going to say it again, because you mentioned Persona. Like, the PSP version of Persona 2, like, the definitive version from what I understand, mm -hmm. the one that costs, like, hundreds of dollars in the wild, or at least 80-something dollars or whatever, a lot of money, that's going to be gone. And that's like 1999 yeah. on the storefront. Yeah. Jeez. What were you gonna say? It's pretty old storefront. Oh, I was just gonna say. Um, is there anything like in particular that you would recommend people like go out and grab before this shutters? Like, I would say probably um, Persona Three. What was it called? FES. The yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's our, that's the or portable version. Yeah. yeah. I would uh, say, like, the portal version's really good because you can actually control what your teammates do so they don't fucking... I was about fucking, to say the same thing. I've so they don't that. fucking dick you over on the last boss. Um, and the presentations, you can play as a female character. That's that true. That makes the story yeah. so much better. Uh, that being said, I, I still, like, really love the presentation of, um, I guess, Persona 3 proper. You kind of yeah, miss that. Yeah, me too. 
Um, shoot, what else would I say? Because you can uh, still get Resident games like Demon Infamous Souls. and stuff. You can get those physical for like five bucks. Yeah. Um, the, but I, I would mostly say like PS One games, to be honest. Yeah, most yeah. of the PS One games are pretty economically priced. I think the most expensive one is like fifteen bucks or something, and even then, <laughs> they're crazy cheap. I, I would um, say I, I'm maybe I'm weird Resident like Evil this. Series from one director's cut, a two, th one, two, and three specifically. Mm -hmm. You can get that for like I think under thirty bucks, all of them. Like. I, I how do I want to word this? Like you you had mentioned Demon Souls a PS3. Yeah. I would like I would say there's cert I'm not it isn't even necessarily for Demon Souls, but I would say like if there's like a remake or like a or just even just like um a remaster that like effectively replaces it, I would say unless you really like preserving stuff, you might be good off of that. Mm. But yeah, like stuff for like Resident Evil 2 or 3 like those original games are fundamentally different games from yeah. those remakes, and those are still mm -hmm. uh, definitely worth grabbing. Mm -hmm. And Resident Evil what One else? directors is um, like whatever. I mean, it's not whatever. It's not hard to find. Whole infamous um, franchise is locked on PS3. Oh, still. you know what? Um, um, no, fes Festival you're right. of, Festival of Blood, the standalone DLC. Yeah, I don't believe oh, that Festival was ever. Blood fucking rules. I don't believe that was ever physical. So. Get that. I think it, yeah. there might have been a disc that included it, but I don't know if it was a disc or if it was one of those like this is the game and the box is different, but it's yeah, the... like a download code. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, damn, Infamous is fucking great. Mm -hmm. oh, remind me, I love that one series so much. That's um, that is the, the series that got me to buy a PlayStation Three and to then buy a PlayStation game. Four. Every Resistance so, game. I mean, you can get them uh, physical, but like I know for a I fact, just... like the PSP one. Or rather, the Vita one that I played for a second. Eh, it was okay. Um, the Killzone Liberation on PSP. I, that's like, I remember playing that in high school and realizing, like, oh my god, it's like a tactical shooter, but Killzone. It was fucking cool as hell. Oh, um, Blaine, for you, I would recommend uh, the best Killzone game is actually Killzone Mercenaries. That's on Vita. I would recommend you pick that up. Okay. That one, and wasn't there a Resistance game on Vita, too? Yeah, I, I just mentioned it. It's it's burning. Oh, yeah, that one. It was a little weird in the beginning. Um, was it Resistance the, Retribution? Um, yeah. Yeah, that one I heard was also very very good. <laughs> would there be anything that are... Would there be anything that you would recommend people grab Mesa or you don't have much of a history with PlayStation, I guess, right? No, no, everything I everything I personally like feel strongly about has already been said. The thing I feel the yeah. strongest for <laughs> is the Infamous series. So yeah, only like one two the fact that those have not been released again is just so baffling. It's painful, and I and I don't see them making another one because why would they? Why would they make a superhero game when they have the superhero? Mm -hmm. So I would be. Oh wait, I'd I be happy one. with another developer getting that franchise. Yeah. Uh, uh, Parasite Eve. One and two. Mm, yeah. People who haven't yeah, picked yeah, that up. Please pick um, out Parasite One and Two. Say 3D mm. Dot Game Hero has. I a, was um, just about to mention that. I wasn't yeah, sure if that Game that Heroes, has a digital version. I think if you're into Disgaea, I don't really like Disgaea that much. If you're into Disgaea, I want to say three and four don't have physical versions on Vita. Mm -hmm. Um, those might be worth picking up again. Direct Guard Three and its DLCs. Um. Trying to think of anything else. Yeah, Persona, all the Persona Two and Persona Three, whichever version you decide to get. The I haven't played it, but I know the Sui Koden series, uh, one, two, three, and I think four are all on PS3 across yeah. the PS1 and PS2 classics. And I think whatever ones are on PS1, I think you can play. You can play on the Vita. Um, uh, there you can get physical versions of it for not too expensive, but uh, fi uh, Final Fantasy Tactics: War of the Lions. Oh yeah, War of the Lions is uh, really good on Vita. Does yeah. anyone remember PlayStation Minis, where those were like vi those were exclusively digital only games? Yep. Those are all gonna go away. Yeah, someone we think we knew, sucks. Someone we know had one of those and was really mad because they didn't make Crisis Core a digital game. They only sold it physical. Mm. Yep only sold a physical even if they sold a digital the rights would eventually have expired they wouldn't they would have taken it down the store mm -hmm. so that game is only accessible by piracy which i mean hey my other thing 
Damn, them shutting the store down sure is not doing a great job discouraging just uh, <laughs> home brewing your PS3 and Vita. Literally. I mean, at least PS1 emulators are very yeah. easy to get. And I mean, I mean, uh, Nexus wasn't here last week when I brought it up, but I'm trying to get Cole's, Cole's, Cole's Delka to work on PC. Just copies of that game yeah. at 599 fucking dollars, and Sony just never released that game on the PlayStation Store. Oh. If you so. have access to the Japanese PSN for PS3, I apparently LSD Dream Emulator is available. To oh PS3. yeah! Yes. Oh, that's a good one. You know what? It's it's dab time because uh, oh, Ramen Nomad points out that uh, the Vita is indeed the best platform to play Dang and Rampa. It's the best platform to play a lot. Also, of also, also yeah, another you can play thing it about... alone without anybody seeing you. Exactly. Another thing, about, a good point. <laughs> another thing about LS, LSD Dream is that you don't need to know Japanese to actually play it. No, there's no. like little to no Japanese in it. So there's the only elements that you will be, will be lost on you is um because my boyfriend has played it for me a lot at watching it. And we like he'll ask me like tell me what to do when we play it together. Um literally like there's some dreams that are just a screen of text and for he looked it up once. It's like those are apparently like recorded recorded messages like based on actual dreams that the creator mm-hmm. had so yeah. that is that does suck you lose out on that but that's literally the only thing that you miss out on everything else you still can experience because it's all just surreal dream yeah. shit uh and then um as far as like the F- the final fantasy games like there are ports onto other consoles and stuff there's steam versions and you know all mm-hmm. that but the PS3 version that you get digitally is going to be like a near perfect emulation of the PS1 version. And yep. final for seven, eight, and nine, the PS3 version is still the prettiest looking versions of those games. It's yeah. as good as playing it on a PS1. You can, for what it's worth, you Square does still sell physical versions of seven, eight, and nine, and also uh, the four, the four and Chrono Trigger pack, the anthology pack with five and six. Um, they're not, you know, like, they, they basically sell them. They're, they're basically burnt discs, but they're yeah, Square Enix and they can still produce them. So they do, um, which is awesome. No, it is awesome. I specifically rebought a bunch because I know my yeah. old discs are going to shit. And if I can't get them buffed, I wanted to make sure I was able to still play them in that format. Mm-hmm. Um, the, like, the only thing I would say is like. Yeah, like, I mean, there's better ways to play 6 and 5, because apparently those PS1 versions have some, like, lag issues. Not as, people yeah. will say it's the worst thing ever, it's really not that bad. It's noticeable if you've played a lot of the Game Boy Advance. But other than that, it's like, eh. Let's go ahead and move on. Oh, sorry, sorry, um, sorry. The PlayStation Portable version of Final Fantasy 4, that is physical, but still, that's digital, it's going to be easier access and cheaper. As yeah. well as, I don't know if 1 through 3 are available digital or not, but those are like the definitive versions of those games. Yeah. Aside from 3 being on DS. Uh, uh, 1 has a bunch of new cutscenes in it. Yep. It's cool. Nice. 